1985 jump starter Top Spin. Hasbro recently remade Top Spin as a Titan's Return figure. And he looks really great. But back in the mid 80s when Transformers were still really hard to find, a lot of toy shops were selling knockoff jump starters. They came in all shapes and sizes and colours, large, small, multicoloured, everything. For some reason, this was the mould of choice to rip off and they were everywhere so much more prolific than the actual Transformers that kids wanted to buy. Even the Avengers have had a go at knocking them off in more recent times. Despite there being a patent for him. Topspin wasn't in the cartoons or the US comic books. But in the UK he was a member of the Wreckers. An elite commando unit of the Autobots on Cybertron. But in the Time Wars he faced off against Megatron. And sadly, Megatron's fusion cannon decapitated him. But in IDW comic books, he's come back to life a few times and been killed again a few times. Mostly, he's the voice of reason and the sort of the straight man for a lot of the humour that goes on in the comic books. But he's still a pretty integral part of the Wreckers. I bought a Titans Return top spin to relieve, relive sorry, part of my youth. But I didn't have top spin when I was young. I had a multicoloured cheap nasty knockoff and so the reason i bought this figure really this is i've seen a lot of people doing customs and paint jobs on transformers i've never tried it myself this is a first for me but i thought to myself i'd like to relive that youth that i had and how own that figure but in an updated version so i decided as he's relatively cheap Price wise, I was going to have a go at customising him and making him look like the multicoloured, nasty, cheap knockoff I had when I was young. As you can see, the figure is really great. He's still got Schwarzenegger ish proportions to him, he's still quite beefy and chunky. Um, everything about him looks brilliant. Um, so, to start off with, I watch loads of tutorials on YouTube about customising how they did. Oh, quick shot off. Uh, so they had a gimmick. Of uh, being able to jumpstart. That's exactly what they used to do. And so I thought I'd find out if the new ones did the same thing. Oh, look, it works. Okay, first of all, I had to take the pieces to assemble him. Thankfully, most of his joints are just held on by friction and can be uh, taken apart without breaking him just by simply pulling them apart. Uh, but there are also quite a few uh, these pins holding in the joints. So I need to get a pin push, a set of pliers, so sort of tweezers, sort of, and a hammer 
bang them out, squeeze them out, pull them out. Most of them came out relatively straightforward. A few of them had to use a little bit of more force. Now, as, you, as you can see, I'm hammering onto uh, a hardback book here. Now, the reason is, as I was hammering these pins out, they were coming out on the underside. So I thought pushing them into a stack of paper, less damaging than pushing them into a wooden table, per se. I've laid out all the pieces here. And now all I need to do is to sort out what pieces I'm going to paint and then what pieces I'm not going to paint. So obviously, things like the bits that are just joints or bits I've already got, um, paint that's representative of what I want, I'm not going to not gonna add value to those. those. Those are the elbow joints. Definitely don't want to paint those because that would painting those would complicate uh, the articulation of his joints. So I'm just, oh, and of course, uh, this part, the cockpit, poses another problem. So I'm going to have to mask off the uh, the clear plastic area of that. And his twin nose cone is sort of a, it's already got paint on it, so I need to remove those. So what, what I've done already is, I've I skipped a, a stage, I'm, a, I'm afraid, but I washed them in hot water to get off anything. And now I've just sprayed them over with a primer from a can. Give them a couple of layers, waited a few hours for them to dry, and now I've arranged them into orders of which pieces are going to be which colour. So I've separated them to chest, legs, and arms. I use my airbrush. You don't have to use an airbrush, you could just rattle cans if you want. But I've sprayed them and then left them for 24 hours. Then I removed the uh, the mask masking tape. From areas like the cockpits, some of the edges that uh, were joints or ball joints, and his face, of course, I didn't want to spray over that. Um, and it came out quite nicely. And there he is with some of his record compadres back together as a jump starter knockoff. And uh, that's exactly what I intended him to look at, like. And I'm reasonably happy with where it turned out considering this is my first attempt i think i've done all right i made a few errors with the, putting some of the pins back but he looks good let me know what you think